Happy holidays everybody, it's Hawker, I'm back with a brand new video, this time taking a look at how Elige led Liquid to their last final with this five man lineup. First things first, hope everybody's having a good Christmas. I know it's a bit of a weird one with all the stuff going on in the world right now and without any Counter-Strike on, but hopefully I can give you a reminder of some of the Counter-Strike we saw at the end of the year. It's looking like Liquid are probably going to have a significant change to their lineup, which I think is fair to say is going to lead them into a completely different era as this Liquid roster. If the rumors are true and they're bringing in Fallen, this will be a completely different team. They're going to have an AWPA, which is something they've never really had before for at least a long, long time. And so I figured it would be fun to take a look at how Elise carried them to this grand final with a 35 for 17 performance on Inferno up against Big. Whenever a player has a carry performance like this, I think it's always interesting to look at how much of that comes back to his teammates setting him up and how much of it comes back to the player just doing crazy stuff by himself. And in this pistol round, Liquid have three players with full sets of utility, so they're clearly going to be setting up their players with Kevlar to be doing some damage. And that's what ends up happening. This deep smoke arrives at CT so that Elise can get a really favorable fight against Keto, who's just pushed through the smoke. And then the flashes make sure to help out on this first fight as well. And then from here, Elise and Stu are the two players with Kevlar, so I think they probably figure they're better off just playing this crossfire from the back of the site. They fall back to safe positions just to make sure they're going to have fights that are good for them, because all they need to do is trade their way to victory, and Elise ends up getting another nice kill at the end of the round. Into the second round, Liquid know that Big will be on a full spy, and I want you to take note of some of the positions the other Liquid players are pushing from and the utility they use in this round. Elise is able to push out through the apartments behind his teammate Twist, who goes flying in first with the UMP. But while this is happening, there are also players pushing short for Liquid. So Elise doesn't have to worry about the short side, and he doesn't really have to worry about Pit or Mini Pit either, because Twist has gone flying out, basically trying to draw those bullets. And then from here, with a smoke on the site and a smoke up at long, it is so much easier for Elise to just focus on these site angles, clear them out with the AK, and make sure he's got a good fight, which he can win easily. And setting up the rifle for this one kill is enough to win Liquid the round. Going into the first gun round, Liquid call for a fast play into top mid. I really love calling these fast aggressive rounds in the first gun round. If these work, they can really shake your opponents. And if they don't, you always have money in the bank. So I already love the call. The smoke is set up for long and as is often the case, it's a liege going in second following up Stewie. And even though Stu goes down, this is good for Liquid here. A leech has the information, Xantaris is trapped in short by this Molotov. And if you give a liege these fights where he's got the info and he's got the chance to trade, he's going to win these more often than not. From here, Elige lines up a flashbang so that Liquid can start to take long control. Liquid start to get into CT spawn, and this is where Elige plays the patience game really well. Big are clearly feeling under pressure here as they've lost CT spawn, they've lost a lot of long control, so it's fairly likely they're going to go for an information play, and Elige is one step ahead of that. He just holds short the entire time, waits for the peak, ends up getting it, which nets him a second kill. And then from here, he's just feeling it, entering onto the A site, and these shots almost look robotic at this point. Brilliant round from Elige, and a nice mix of him being set up for some of the earlier kills, and then just showing he's really good on those last two frags. One of the great things about having Elige as your star player is that he is one of those star players who is well and truly a big Counter-Strike nerd. And I mean that in the best possible way, because it means he can set up his teammates as well. He's putting in the time to learn the nades and the other roles on the team. And I think that really shines through in this round, where Liquid's plan A clearly goes wrong. They can't start to go up through A long too easily. The time is running low, so they have to go back to short. And this is where Elige has a very simple but effective flashbang lined up for his teammates. He ends up getting two flash assists off the back of this. And I know this doesn't look crazy. I know it doesn't look amazing but just the fact that this flash is so well placed that it blinds both big players is a really nice on-the-fly call by Elige and I'm sure it's something that might seem standard to a lot of you guys but the fact that he's able to quickly do this under pressure is definitely a good sign and it shows that he got 35 kills but he was also setting up his teammates in this game which is great. There were actually quite a few rounds where Elige was the first man in on the actual push to the bomb site itself. 
sometimes due to his teammates dying early, sometimes due to him just being in the best position to take early fights, but for the most part these rounds weren't too successful for Elige. Although there were also some examples of this working out really well, like here in round 10 where he pre-fires this corner on Banana and then gets another nice easy entry up Banana against Big who are on pistols in this round. But the bulk of Elijah's T side success came from those earlier rounds where he was normally the second man in. He got 10 kills in the first four rounds alone and ended the half 15 for 9. He doesn't waste any time heading into the CT side of things though. Into the pistol, Liquid throw in some aggression into second mid with a peek through both apartments and the floor, and that helps set up Elige for a nice shot to begin with. From here, Elige focuses on mid just to make sure that Big are actually going into the B site. And then Elige is tasked with flanking through Banana, and at this point, it all just comes down to individual ability to win this fight. And the timing on this fight against Keto may be favorable for him, but this is still a stunning shot to land very quickly, and this is the key kill that really opens up the retake. Now that Liquid have Banana, retaking the B site is infinitely easier, and Elige goes on to prove that as he cleans up the final two kills and wins Liquid the all-important CT pistol largely just off of his own individual play. Unfortunately, Elige winning his team the pistol round wouldn't be enough for them to go on to win the next one though. So they'd be on a force bite here in round 19. And okay, Elige, that's a pretty sick shot to start things off. Then from here, he gets locked into top mid by this Molotov, but he's able to fight with his teammate. Body shots at this range with a Deagle are really strong, so that's all Elijah's is going for. And he may only get one kill, but the fact that he gets away with his life is huge here for Lick. This helps buy time for the rotate. And then I also love how Elijah decides not to go into pit here, where it's fairly likely he might just get naded, being low on health. Instead, he plays a closer, less expected angle, and he spots Keto, but gets really unfortunate not to get this kill here. However, he's done enough. He's bought time for his teammates to get into position and they do go on to win this round. Elige actually managed to get most of his kills on the CT side, which is not always easy to do. You normally have to know how to change up your position to be able to do that. Otherwise, teams are just likely going to avoid you. And Elige does that really well in this game. In this round, he shows versatility with his nade set as he throws the early utility to help his teammates on B, even though he's normally an A player. He ends up getting a kill with this nade at the middle of Banana as he has to come back to help his teammate. And then he goes over to Long, unfortunately only gets one kill on the hold, but the main takeaway here is just how Elige is able to play any spot on the map. And because Liquid don't have a primary AWPA, he can be the man to oftentimes roam around the map, pick his spot, and you really get to see this shine through as he goes 20 for 8 on this CT side. Into round 20, we get even more massive impact from Elige. This is a round where Liquid's buy sucks. Elige has a fan ass in this one, and he's rotating over to B in a 2v3 retake, which should almost never be doable. But he's able to spot the bomb being planted just before this CT smoke blooms, denies that bomb plant, and then this flashbang is actually really well placed. It does blind Xantares, who is on the site, but unfortunately Tizian's playing behind triple box, so there's basically no way you're going to be able to flash both of these players, and that means he's left in a 1v2. At this point, Elige plays on the edge of the smoke nicely, spotting Xantares going into dark, and now he can pretty much figure out where both of these players are positioned. I'm going to level with you. I don't know why Xantares peeks here. I think he's better off hiding, but Elige can only take the fights that are given to him, and he's able to isolate it, turn it into a 1v1, and slowly but surely win out this clutch against Tizian. Another really well-played round by Elige, and the thing that strikes me most is just how consistent his decision-making is. And I think that really shines through on a map like Inferno, where decision-making is probably even more important. After Elige successfully retakes B in the last round, the All-American hero decides he's going to lock down the A site this time round. With the time ticking and Elijah's teammates having pushed Banana, he knows that this has to be an A play, but once his teammate dies in library, he's in a really tough spot here, being exposed from all possible angles. 
Somehow a liege makes it possible though. He realizes he has to play proactive and switch up his position so he's not exposed from all these angles. And he just about manages to do that by dropping off this box so he's not as exposed from long. That allows him to win this fight against Tabson, who probably should hit at least one shot here. But hey, sometimes fortune favors the bold. And then he cleans it up with the second shot as well. Another position which looked like Elise should be just screwed in, but he somehow turns it into a win. And eventually Liquid managed to close out this rather scrappy game in the most fitting way possible. It is with almost no investment that Liquid win this game. And fair play to Elise in this round because he basically has to land the shot instantly to get a kill here. And he basically has to land a shot to give Liquid a better chance at being able to take down all these big players pushing top mid. Otherwise, Big probably trade this out a little more easily. But because Elise gets the first kill, that can really get the ball rolling for you on these sorts of rounds where you're stacking a position and just trying to trade with pistols. And that's what happens for Liquid. They go on to get the win. Elise is definitely so Someone we will be watching out for in 2021. I hope Liquid can put together a good roster to continue to compete because he deserves it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll probably be going back over a few games from the end of 2020 because there's no Counter-Strike going on right now. So let me know if you guys have anything you think I should go through. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you next time.